Creo Parametric 9.0 improved the workflows for surface finishes. In the previous video, we looked at placing a new surface finish. In this video, we'll take a look at editing one. So here's the model that I had last time. Let me left click on my surface finish. And when I do that, it's going to open up a new tab interface. But before we go to the tab, I want you to take a look at the mini toolbar. So in the mini toolbar, we have a few new additional commands. I'm going to start at the right. And the first one that we have here is semantic query. I'll come back to that after I add some more references in here. Then we have one for repeat. So you can repeat this symbol and the configuration for creating a new surface finish. And then this one over here is transform. Let's take a look at that. When I click on that from the mini toolbar, well, we have a few different drag handles. So I can grab this one. You can see how it ends up scaling the surface finish symbol bigger and smaller. There is another handle if you want to change the rotation angle. I'm happy with this. That's good. Now let me left click on it again. And I'm not going to touch more on the mini toolbar. Let's take a look at the tab that we have open. And most of the tab is very similar to the one for placement. So for example, we've got our arrow style here. We've got the surface finish customization. We've got the angle and the height that we can configure. But now we have a references button where we used to have the gallery that we selected what kind of surface finish that we wanted to place. Let me click on that. Here in the references dialog box, you can see the surface that is being used as the reference for the surface finish. You'll notice that we have the column for strong or weak. If you uncheck this, that'll make this a weak reference. A strong reference means that Creo is going to check the reference during the regeneration cycle. If something is wrong with the reference or it's missing, then the annotation itself is going to fail regeneration. If you uncheck this, if you make it weak, then Creo is going to check the reference after regeneration and it's not going to cause a regeneration failure if it is missing. Now down here at the bottom, this is also something that is new. Here we can edit the references and we can add additional restricted references to this surface finish annotation. That means that any other surface finishes cannot reference the other additional surfaces that we add in here to our surface finish. Let me click on it. And this opens up a dialog box that allows us to use the advanced collection methods for constructing surface sets. Let me hit the add button up here. And that way I can pick an anchor surface. And then we have the ability to use loop surfaces or surfaces of all bodies or seed and boundary. So I will click in there and for the bounding surfaces, let me select this surface. I'm going to zoom in a bit so I can grab that small surface and this one here and this one here. Let me grab the inside surfaces of that particular hole. And that way I was able to construct the surface set that I wanted to use. Let's click the OK button. And so now we're on the surface sets tab. We have our individual surface. We also have the seed and boundary listed. And when we're on the surface sets tab, there is a, another button that we have here for non-restricted references. So that means that you can select surfaces that are associated with this annotation, but can be referenced by other surface finish annotations if you want to. So that's how you can construct your references. Let's click the OK button in order to get out of here. OK, now let's hold down the right mouse button so we can get the mini toolbar back. Earlier, I mentioned that we have the semantic query button. Let me click on that. And when I click on it, it opens up the semantic query toolbar. You can see the references associated with this annotation highlighted in red and you've got the other different options in here if you want to display similar annotations or you want to get to the secondary references let's close the semantic query toolbar and i'm going to hold down the right button again to show you some new options in the pop-up menu so you've got some of the same options as before like if you want to move move to plane change the textile change the orientation or add leader but we've got a few new additions in here like update symbol. 
We also have the ability to open up the parameters dialog box. And before I go to parameters, I want to talk about designation. So when we go to designation, we have a checkbox that we can check here in order to designate this. And by designating it, it's going to make the annotation and its information available to Windshield. Let me check that box here. And it closed it. Another way that you can get to designate is from the options command in the toolbar. Here you can see that it is designated. And if you designate it, you also have the ability to designate this as a control characteristic. And control characteristics are available in Windchill MPM link for manufacturing process planning. Let's go ahead and check that one. All right, let me, oops, clicked on the background and deselected it. Let me go back to my right mouse button. Here we can open up the parameters associated with this surface finish. Let me grab the first column and make it wider. And in another video on custom symbol parameters, I talked about how in Creo 9, you can create some custom symbol parameters in the symbol definition itself. Well, with your surface finishes, it has a bunch of parameters automatically defined in here. So you can see that we have the material removal, and I said that the material should be removed. Let me bring this back up and move it around a little bit. We also have the surface finish lay type, and here we have the parallel. We also have the surface finish modifier all over, the processing notes, this is going to be milled, and then we have the three different requirements that I created in the note, and it's also got the name of the surface finish that is being used, that ASME Y14-36. And you'll also note that we have this column here for designate, since I designated the surface finish and also said it should be a control characteristic, you'll notice that all these different parameters are designated, so these parameters are going to be available to Windchill. That's good, let's click the OK button out of the dialog box. And so there you see the different options that you have for editing your surface finish annotations in Creo Parametric 9.0.